what is there anything that stands out in that stretch to you to, from where you are now as far as keeping kids stay away? Nah, just, you know, you've been very fortunate to coach a long time. So, you, you know, and I've been at a, this place for 31 years now. So have a chance to stack a lot of victories up when you coach at a place like Georgia Tech and you do it for as long as I have. But, man, for, I don't know that there could be a better game than the one today to get to 1,400. Just uh, proud of the way our guys battled and played today after getting down. And, uh, you know, just tip of the cap to – you know, everybody that played in the game today from pinch hitters going in and doing a job, relief pitchers going in and doing a job, and then just some big moments and hits for us to uh, overcome a seven-run deficit. We talked yesterday about coming out today to try to keep that momentum going. That wasn't to be. But, you know, once, you know, I guess in the beginning you had some chances to score runs, weren't able to get that big hit. But once you broke through and got those first couple of runs, really took the team up. Yeah, Stieg uh, was tough on us, uh, honestly, uh, early on. And uh, we kind of knew that we would probably have to go to some pinch hitters throughout the game. And, uh, you know, and, and all of those guys just came in and did a tremendous job, whether it was a walk or whether it was Carson Curse, uh, you know, hitting that big double down the left field line to get us within a run. Uh, just thought that everyone that got in there did a great job. Parker Brocious, the fake bunt hit when they kind of did the old wheel play on us in a bunt situation. Couldn't have executed it any better. And then Dawson Brown was, yeah, he was tremendous. You look down and 16 hits, you know, you're watching the game, you didn't realize you were, you were hitting the ball like you were. And of course that, you know, always comes into play, you know, getting those hits when you learn how to play. No question. Top of our order did a tremendous job. I thought we really did a great job when, when those relief pitchers came in. Like we, you know, handled, I thought, everything there. A lot of that goes into James Ramsey's scouting report with those guys. Uh, and then I thought we did a great job of just managing our bullpen and kind of had the right guys in the right spots to keep getting outs and kind of keep them close to us. After a rough start, you take the bullpen only allowed one, one run and it was sort of you know, uncommon some you mentioned Barker in those last uh, you know, four innings. Yeah, they were all good. I mean, I think it went King, it went Barfield, Thomas, and then uh, uh, Dawson Brown. So, like you said, to give up one run, the length that those guys had to cover today, uh, just outstanding. You're at a point in the ACC game now where you're only one game under 500. You've come a long way back. Uh, I imagine you're, you're looking to keep that momentum. Oh, sure. I mean, basically, you know, it's a, it's a momentum uh, game. And... Uh, you know, we, we've had some battles. We're halfway through. We, we have 15 more ACC games, and they'll all be big games just like this one today. And um, just got to keep getting better, keep playing, and uh, you never know what can happen. Of course, you got Virginia, so defensively, you got to be on your toes for that game. Oh, Virginia's good. I mean, they're one of the best teams in our league. They're one of the best teams in the country. Uh, we go to Auburn on Tuesday, so can't, can't forget that one. Uh, that'll be... You know, just a great test for us on the road again, SEC opponent, and then Virginia on the weekend. Coach, uh, you were one of the leaders of the team. You know, when you get down set or nothing, what are you saying to your teammates? Um, you know, Ramsey's always said from uh, – he's always preached that when we get down like that, that it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, and so you just got to – you just tell everyone, we got to play hard for 27 outs, and we don't know it's going to happen. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't just be playing as hard as you can all the time. So that's how that's how we that's how we got ourselves back in that game. Just, we didn't give up. Like we just kept our nose nose on the on the grindstone. And we just kept going. I guess you, you you can always look back at yesterday and say, look at all the runs we scored today. And our bats were pretty hot. Mm -hmm. You know, we're bound to break through, even though you got a lot of hits yeah. early, but didn't yeah. hit your runners on yeah. hits. So it's bound to happen. Yeah. So I think uh, you know after Friday, I mean they they kicked our butt on Friday. Um, so yesterday was great for the confidence. Like, okay, like this team's good. They're they're a ranked team, but you know we can hang with them for sure. I mean, we did more than hang with them yesterday, and we knew coming into today that it was just going to be a, it was going to be a 50-50 toss up. Whoever wanted it more, was going to win, and I think that we wanted it more today. Did you move around in the batting order pretty comfortably that morning? Yeah, I don't I don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I, I have I got a lot of confidence hitting behind Ellis. Um, you know we. Uh, 
we're always on the same page with our approach and everything. Um, I like I like I like hitting behind him. I like having Cam Jones behind me because I know he's going to come through a lot too. But it it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, wherever you're going to yeah, put, each, put me. Each you know. day is different week to nine. So yeah. Contributing. Yeah. Today, top four guys in the world under Cam too. Really. So yeah. You know, I mean, you just don't see yeah. that part of the world. I mean, you that's the coolest thing to do. T, um, Ramsey said the other day, T.Y.'s reverse and Ellis. Right now, I mean, they're swinging it better than any other of the you know one, two, three guys in the country. We had first and second, no outs. Like 10, per 10 seconds before the at bat, I was gonna bunt. I was gonna bunt down third, um, and then let Cam Jones get the tie and run in. Ramsey said to me, "Screw that! You're a good hitter. You're gonna get a fastball. Ready to go. Didn't miss it." How about Carlos? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's great. I mean, I mean, every everyone's contributing. I mean, it's it's awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I think I think he's, um, you know, he's really towing the mallets and presence right now. Um, he's super talented, and you know, if he if he can go out there and throw one or two pitches around the zone and know that his stuff is better than the hitters, he's gonna win most of the time. So yeah, he's definitely throwing with some mound presence. How big was it to score those runs? In that huge. I mean, because they got they got a great lineup, you know. If, if they got if they got one guy on base, one swing, one swing, and they're going to tie it. So that was huge. Um, and you know that's part of what we were talking about earlier. We just we don't quit. You know, um, we're up by three, we're up by ten. We're always going to say, hey, got to get at least one here. Right. Uh, start of the game over the course of three straight games, mm -hmm. the third uh, that fly ball by the mound. Right? Mm -hmm. Were you calling that all the way? I I, ca I called it first. You know, I was. Um, I was pretty determined to go get that ball. Um, it was kind of in no man's land. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I really wanted to win this game. We had to. So I was, I was going to go get that ball. 